Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I straight off the bat I'm going to apologize if you can hear my neighbors mowing their lawn. If you would hear my dog snort, I want to say snorting because he snorts instead of snort. Oh, see, he snores as well, but anyway. And also they will probably bark and there we go with my chair again. So anyway, there we go. Apologies done. Let's get into the video. So today I felt like Playing around with makeup, I haven't done a makeup video in a very long time. And I have some new products to play around with, so yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going to be doing yet, but we'll just have a play around. So I am going to start with my base because I'm very excited to use my new products. But if you have eyeshadows that you know have a lot of fallout or you don't want to mess up your foundation by your hand leaning on it or anything like that. I do suggest that you start with your eyeshadow because then you can brush it off and conceal and sharpen up the lines and anything else that you want to do. There goes the barking. God damn it. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with a green primer as such, a green corrector because I get red cheeks. You can sometimes see that through my foundation. So I'm going to be using this brand new Nutrimedics Correction Palette. No, what is it? The Nutrimedics Complexion Correction Kit. So it comes like this and it has all the shades on the back and what you actually do in each step. So this one here is called a Peach Corrector. So it neutralizes purple and blue tones such as underneath your eyes. The green corrector basically it takes away redness, you can cover acne and the light concealer is where you would want to lighten and brighten your face typically under your eyes and the t-zone and also these two shades here they are also just to correct any imperfections alrighty so I am going to start dipping into my green corrector I'm going to be using a wet beauty blender for this because these are a cream consistency Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Holy shit, I probably didn't need that much on my sponge, but I didn't realize how far this product goes. I'm now going to be taking the peach corrector and I'm going to be using my same sponge and just using the tip of it to apply underneath my eyes. I only need a wee bit too, because Jesus. Right, I'm going to use this mirror because it's closer. Oh, I'm scared using this color. Using the wrong one, okay. Use this one, the actual, the peach one. I was, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just gonna dab that on the back of my hand because it picks up so much product. I also got a Nutrimedics brush. I am going to be using this to blend underneath my eyes. I'm gonna take a clean beauty blender and just run over that corrector and blend it out so there's no harsh lines. I am going to be going in with my foundation to cover this all up. This is the Clears BB Cushion Foundation. I actually won this in a giveaway here on YouTube but you can get this online so I will link it down below. I just recently turned the cushion around so it's looking really messy but this is honestly the best foundation I have ever 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 used. It's basically my skin but better so and again I'm going to be going in with my wet beauty blender so now that we have applied the foundation I'm going to go back into this wee compact I'm going to be using the lightest shade for my concealer I might actually use just a flat brush to apply my concealer honestly you guys these products from this product here everything in here that I've tried so far is unbelievably pigmented a little bit definitely goes a long way. I'm going to now set down my foundation and I'm going to be using the Australia's Fresh and Flawless Press Powder and I'm going to be taking that on a big fluffy brush that looks like this. This is the EXO Beauty one but any fluffy brush will do just fine. Oh my god! A little tip I can give you guys is when you are setting your foundation with a press powder or you are setting your concealer with um, a setting powder, it's best to tap the powder product into your skin rather than circular motions or side by side or whatever. Same with under the eye 
I personally use a brush like this to set my under eye concealer and I tap in the powder rather than moving it from side to side because what basically that is going to do is move the product underneath. So now that I have set my base and everything is done, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows now actually, and I use the ColourPop, this is in the color Blondie. For those of you who don't know how to fill in your brows, I am quickly going to tell you a few of my tips and tricks. Um, I'm no professional at all. This is just my personal preference of how I do it, and also ways that you could do it as well. So I personally use a pomade and what I would do is take the brush end obviously, dip the product in, I wipe off the size because I don't want too much product. You can always go in with more but it's harder to take it off as such if you do apply too much. So basically you kind of want to stay clear of the first half of your brow because this part here you don't want to make ridiculously dark and bold in my opinion. I like to concentrate on the middle and the tail tail part of my eyebrow. So I start in the middle. I brush out my brows first, get them to the shape that I want them to be. Then I use the brush and I just start filling in the blanks if you like. When I do fill in this part here, I basically just take the brush and use flicky motions. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. To use this rather over a brush, to me, it's easier to imitate hairlines. The little strokes of hair, you know, so we'll give this one a go. What I like to do with these types of products is run a straight line underneath just this part here and blend it up into my natural eyebrow hairs. And to me, it kind of makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, I don't want to use the word perfect, but a little bit more made up. Another tip is what you could do is brush down your hairs and work along where the natural hairs start and very gently blend your product into your eyebrow hairs and brush it back up and do it again. I mean, it, there's so many ways that you could fill in your eyebrows. There's no right or wrong way in makeup. You do you. Oh, I forgot to contour before I powdered because I wanted to use the contour out of this. But you know what? We'll do that now. We will try and see how it works out. You always, in my personal opinion, you always especially if you're using a cream product, apply that before you powder. Because if you put a cream product on top of a powder, you can just imagine what crazy bloody science stuff that's gonna do. So we're going to be taking this Beauty Blender Damp, of course, and I'm using this because of how it is tilted. I don't know the word to use, but we'll use that. So we're just going to apply it with the very tip right here. I am going to be taking the darker shade. Okay, let's try this. As I say, less is more. You could always go in with more product. It's no trouble, but if you go crazy when you first apply it and it's too much, it's very hard to take that away. You could blend your little ass off to try and make it not look crazy, but I personally think it's best to go in a little rather than a lot of product. I probably should have gone in with the shade just below that. I think this might be a little bit too dark for me. But we're going to make it work, so we're going to go in that <laughs> with the shade that's a tone lighter because I am so pale and we're just going to start bronzing the face. Oh my gosh, look at that. You kind of want to go into your hairline as well because if you have a patch of bronzed skin and then your hairline is pale AF, it's going to look a little bit ridiculous. So that's just another little tip. I'm full of tips today, guys. Absolutely full of tips. I haven't done this in a long time, so I feel like sharing everything with you guys. I look like a freaking Dorito. But you live and you learn. 
This is the first time I've personally used this product. I had it applied to me um, Wednesday night, two nights ago, by the lovely Lisa. She does Nutrimedics herself. She is a lovely person to deal with if you are wanting to go and get some Nutrimedics products or just even ask about them. So we will quickly set that down again with a pressed powder because it's a cream product and it will slip and slide everywhere if you don't set it down. To get blush out the way, because I'm going to forget about that, I'm going to use a powdered product. And this is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the shade... I don't know, it rubbed off. But anyway, we're going to use this. It's really, really pretty. Now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. I always use a primer <laughs> for my eyeshadows because I want to get the full effect of the colours. And I also, the main reason why I do use an eye primer is because you have so many red and purple veins and everything in your eyelids and the skin is so thin that all that different colours and everything, it all shows through. And if you stick a eyeshadow down on your eyelids without priming, I mean sometimes it's okay, don't get me wrong, but this is just my personal personal preference, you are going to be able to see all those different colours, like the red veins and everything, and that's just not the look that we're going to go for. So I'm going to use a primer, and it is the Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. This has been my absolute go-to since day one, basically. So what I do is I take I take the brush, but I also wipe off majority of the product. Just put a wee bit on like this, and then I take a brush that looks like this, and I'm going to basically just blend this out, and then go over it with a beauty blender, just to get rid of any excess product. Straight away after I've applied the primer, I do go in with a powder to set that down, and I use the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel, and on the same brush that I use to set my concealer with. I swear I'm always losing things. There's so much shit on this desk right now, it's unbelievable. I wanted to play around with Colourpop eyeshadows because I have had these for quite a while and I've only really used them a couple of times. I'm gonna go in with the shade Hanky Panky. We're going to be taking this into the crease, just blending that back and forth. That's really not doing it for me today. I don't know if it's dried up because I haven't used it for so long, but I am going to go in with my handy dandy Morphe palette, and this is in the 350. It's got all the browns and neutral colours that you could ever bloody need. It is amazing. The quality of this is honestly 10 out of 10. It is absolutely amazing. So, I'm going to be going in with a light brown shade. I always go in with this one here. This one here is always the one that I go in to deepen up my crease. So, we're going to take the same brush, tap off the excess because you don't want powder flying everywhere and basically start working that into the crease. And also I filmed a baking video. I filmed a caramel cheesecake recipe and oh my freaking god it's honestly the best cheesecake in the world. But I filmed it and I didn't like how it turned out and so I filmed it again. I filmed it twice and I just wasn't happy with how I set things up and how I done things. So I wasn't going to post it. So anyway, I am going to start listing my recipes and everything in my Instagram. I will also put my Instagram name on the screen somewhere for you to go and follow because that's where I'm going to be posting all my recipes and basically just keeping you guys up to date with everything that's going on. I had a huge inspiration from page my makeup page is what her name is here on YouTube and Instagram I'd highly recommend checking her out she created this absolute beautiful look of purple like a smoky purple eyeshadow look and when I seen that I I absolutely fell in love honestly it is so 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 pretty I don't think I can do that <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt to do that today I don't think because she would absolutely just blow me out of the water. I'm just gonna go, I, I actually don't know what I wanna do. So I do have this Morphe, what one is this? 35C palette, and it's absolutely cray cray of colors. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. I could play around with some of these colors here. These ones here are really catching my eye. We'll start off very slowly working with, I don't know, I kinda wanna go with this one here. 
and I'm going to use a crease blender brush and if you can see the difference between these two brushes the crease blender brush this one here is just a little bit more like skinnier and easier to work with in the crease rather than this big fluffy brush here which is called the round top blender brush I personally would use this to blend out the edges and also obviously apply your crease color um, or your transition color but for this one here I would use this to go in with your second eyeshadow color third or fourth whatever I use the same brush to basically get a more precise We'll get it in there precisely like we actually want to be, if that makes sense. I don't know. So I went to Pink last Saturday and it was my first concert that I have ever been to and I'm addicted now, honestly, you guys. I want to go to so many bloody concerts. It's not even funny. I think I will just stick to the ones that are in Dunedin though because that's closer to where I am. I don't really want to... Or at least it was someone that came to the country who I absolutely freaking love and they weren't coming to Dunedin I definitely would travel to Auckland or wherever the concert would be most of them is Auckland but for now I think I'll stick to the ones that are in Dunedin so anyway there was about 37 and a half thousand people roughly Pink said herself that it's the most people she's ever seen at one time so that's obviously the biggest concert that she's ever had and I think that that's so amazing. It absolutely just flipped my shit when her little girl came running on stage and gave her mum a cuddle and then ran off again. She was wearing these big headphones, of course, it was so, so, so loud in there. Her daughter's only seven years old and she is honestly the cutest little thing ever. She really is so, so cute. Oh, oh. I'll tell you who I'd absolutely love to go and see though. My top picks would definitely be Demi Lovato because I love her. Miley Cyrus and I'd like to see Taylor Swift I don't I personally don't listen to her music anymore but I would just I'd love to go to one of her concerts because I did listen to her music like religiously a few years ago especially because that's what I would sing I'd sing Taylor Swift but now I'm kind of into singing Carrie Underwood I absolutely love Carrie Underwood I love her voice she's absolutely amazing you guys should comment down below and tell me what concerts you have been to. Like honestly getting out of there was freaking awful. Like there was so many people, but people for freaking days. Okay, I don't like the color of this eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna darken up my outer V. I don't know, I kinda wanna go with this like black color here. Just cause I'm not feeling it, you know? Today isn't a serious video. I'm just messing around because I haven't applied my makeup in so long. So I thought that I would, it's actually kind of grey, oh well, I thought that I would come on here and just chit chat with you guys and play with some makeup. So I went to Pink with one of my best friends, I bought her a ticket for her birthday and that was her first concert as well so it was really cool to experience it together. I think we might be concert buddies now. So I'm really really not feeling this look you guys, I actually absolutely hate it but ugh. I'm gonna take a clean brush. I'm gonna go in with a white shade actually because I want to tidy up this mess up here. I think I've gone way too far up and I'm beginning to look like a freaking clown. If I hadn't done my base and everything first, I would just go in with concealer and tidy up these edges, but I've already set everything down with powder so I don't really want to do that. Just gonna go in with a light brown shade underneath. I think what I'll do is do a crazy ass big wing liner to cover everything up. I done a wing liner for pink and I was on the edge of doing it because my eyeshadow and my base and everything looked really really good for the night and then I didn't want to go in with a wing liner and ruin it all basically because that's what can happen. But surprisingly both of my wings turned out absolutely perfect which is bloody surprising. I might take some highlighter. I always use the Mary Lou Minim, Minim, this one here. 
always use this and what I'm gonna do is highlight my brow bone because I really did take this eyeshadow up too far and I'm not liking it so I think it might be all right once I've got eyeliner and my wings and my friggin false eyelashes and everything on I think it will look fine so we won't do any more eyeshadow because it's just not going that well I'm going to take my MAC eyeliner and I'm going to do my tight line the reason why I like to put eyeliner on my tight line is because when I go over with a liquid liner and falsies it makes everything blend so much better because if I didn't have this eyeliner on you could see like underneath my eyelashes if that makes sense and it wouldn't all be blended very well together so that did not turn out the way I expected it to at all it is absolutely full-on I was I'm gonna be honest with you guys after I done this I was very tempted to take it all off take my eyeshadow off everything but we are going to carry on and do a full out big false eyelashes and mascara and everything else. I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply Scandalous Eyes Extreme Black by Rimmel and also the Outrageous Volume Mascara by Designer Brands. So I'm going to use both of these because I like using two mascaras. I'm going to do that and then I will come back and show you what eyelashes I'm going to wear. So I've applied my mascaras and what I'm going to do now is apply my eyelashes so I'm going to be using I don't know why I'm showing because you can't really see it EXO Beauty eyelashes and I think they're the Wonderlust ones because I currently have some some wee spiders in here just chilling out and I don't know which is which so I will be applying my eyelashes off camera but if you do want to see me applying my eyelashes or my mascara or anything else that I actually cut out of the video if you do want to see me applying anything please let me know in the comments down below because I will keep that footage in to the video. I have now finished applying my mascara and falsies and eyeliner and everything else and that took a bloody long time I'm not going to lie. To finish off the look, I'm going to say the look, I'm not happy with how this turned out. My eyeliner is so crazy but that's fine. To finish off the look I'm going to be using Colourpop products today. I'm going to be using a lippy liner in the shade BFF and I'm going to be using a ultra set lip also by Colourpop. And that you guys is my finished look for today. So basically it was just a playing around with makeup type video and chit chatting a bit to you guys. If you like this type of video please give me a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel also. I am going to be doing an updated video of my wedding photos situation and I'm kind of stuck on ideas for videos so I would really appreciate if you guys commented down below to let me know what you would like to see next if it's more makeup type videos like what color eyeshadow or whatever whatever type video you want me to do please let me know down below all right guys so that is enough rambling for me you'll see me in my next video bye